Contact detected. <laughs> unidentified, unidentified flying objects. <laughs> In before A team gets smoked. Don't say that. Don't say that. Okay. Did his? Did your helmet get changed somehow? No, no, it's the right helmet. All right. What's your will? Yeah, okay, it's over 100. That's good. <laughs> okay, we're going to bring Papa Dracon. Uh, Papa Dracon's going to have an arc thrower. And med kits. Ravenheart's been doing good for us. I think maybe we bring him on this one, too. Alternatively, we get Robert Popa fully leveled up. This might not be the right mission for that, though. Uh, for now, let's just make sure we get the man sorted out. Cooler looking laser rifle. We're going to give you a scope and then the backup med kit. Just in case Dracon somehow gets smoked. Okay. We need a heavy. We haven't taken out Sheev for a while. It's time. Scope. And I suppose we'll give you a respirator. Okay, we need an assault. And I I mean Ravenheart has done well for us so far. I'm going to yeah, this is this is basically my A team and that's who we're bringing. Um, rather than the alien grenade, I think I give him the respirator. We're bringing two arc throwers, which is, you know. <laughs> so what, who else do we bring? Uh, we can bring a second support just to be safe. Or... I don't really know. Justice Reigns is a great choice. Maybe we bring two. We can bring two assaults or we can bring two snipers. This might be a nasty mission. I don't know. We'll find out. Don't forget to kidnap the outsider. Yes, that is indeed. We're looking for outsiders. We're looking for floaters, heavy floaters. We've captured a lot of other aliens, so. You want assaults to take the outsider? That's true. Maybe bringing a second assault. Popo is not a bad choice. Also, I think assaults in these missions are also very useful. I need to build another plasma rifle, though, or we just give him a scatter rifle. Scatter laser. I think this is okay, actually. I'm okay with this. I'm still looking to level up all of my... Um, I'm still looking to level up my two snipers. Popa's in a good spot as it is. I think, I think this is acceptable. Dracon has armor. It's just like a body vest, though. They, they remove the sleeves. He gets a cutoff, I guess. Andrew F. Yes, you are you are a woman. I think like 75% of all of our random squads, squad mates have been female, interestingly enough. I've had it go both ways. Previous playthroughs, I've had it where it's like all men, and in this one, it seems like everyone's a woman. Brazilian authorities have requested our help, so that's where we're going next. Okay. We need to get the outside of this mission. The alien... And also, this should get us a lot of Illyrium. This is Big Sky. We're in position near the enemy LZ. Strike one is ready to move on your orders. Okay. I read you, Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. Heavy resistance. We're running out into an open field again, so let's not make the same mistakes. We're going to station our snipers up on the high ground, I'd say. So first thing... Okay. Let's be very gentle with our mech movements and not reveal too much. <laughs> I need a lyrium, so I'll take it myself. Double time. Okay. 
and four. Nine mutons. Can we, yeah, can we maybe redeem ourselves after that, that previous situation? Affirmative. Actually, I could put a sniper further back. This is also our chance to get some meld, but these maps are so large that it's pretty risky to do. Moving out. It's over here, unfortunately. I'm, I'm tempted to go all the way around and over to that other side. So, because we have way more cover over there. And we saw what happened in the past. There's no cover in these, like, open fields. I really dislike it. How long till they all die? Hey, that only happened on one UFO mission. Never again. Hashtag never again. Yeah, let's see if maybe we can get over here. Butane, I'm going to shift you. Heading to that location. So that you have just straight view into the ship. And then everyone else, we're just going to run you up here. They may just casually walk in division. That's the thing. So I'm going to hug the bottom of the map. I just can't... Running across that bottom section is so stupid the way it's set up. Swear off the reloads. Again, unless a camera angle fucks me. The boss, the man. The man, the legend. Snipers can stay here. Okay. Last move, so don't... Oh, that's right, we're concealed. I forgot about this. I forget. I gotta remember we have our our higher tier mech. There might be a berserker on this map. If we could capture that, that would be cool too. Basically, I mean we've got nice vision on all of this. All of our snipers are ready to go. So let's actually put them on Overwatch first, and then I'm gonna move out with Shaclastic over here. Position confirmed. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any enemies up here, so this is where we're going to kind of take cover and move towards the ship. Target confirmed. Okay, just stay behind the mech and don't reveal anything else. Double time. Moving out. All right. Quiet. Did you hear something? Yep. Meld already gone. It's fine. Okay. Let's put our heavy into cover up here. Again, I think this will pay off. Oh, I can dash him into full cover further up. I gotta remember that. That's actually really useful, so. Let's be a little more diligent along those lines. I'm on my way. UED has a battle scanner. Uh, he's very far away right now, though. I just want to play the beginning of this map cool. I feel like if the first one or two engagements goes well, we're going to do fine. Rolling out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. That's so useful. Already there. Okay, and then Ravenheart. Okay. Sometimes just the way that you start out on these missions, it's good to just get like if it takes time to position yourself in a better spot, do it. I don't think we're alone out here. Yeah, it's definitely a berserker. So I'm gonna move up here with Dracon. Moving. 
nothing, but that doesn't give us as much vision as I would like. He's technically in full cover if he comes here, right? So he stays in cover. Let's get our snipers into position first and foremost. Butane, I think, gets full cover. Butane gets full cover from half cover, so let's move him over here. Already there. And then UED come dander. Roger, Dodger. I think I'm like I'm overly cautious now after that previous that UFO map. Moving. Um There's no heavy cover up here. I can maybe see it, maybe move over here and see if we can have vision Thanks on something. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, don't do that. That's a mistake. Just uh Pop in right here. We can blue move to the heavy cover next turn. Shaclastic then can move up. Headed there now. Okay, we're mostly in position where we need to be. Let's just end this turn and then we'll maybe pop what we can next time. I'm overly cautious. Ravenheart runs into a position with no cover. Yep. Now, I could dash all the way over here with Dracon, stay in, and I'd be invisible. I need the intel, so let's do this. Where the hell are they? They must be right in there, you know? The man, Butane boss again, gets full cover from half cover, I believe. There they are, some Seekers. That's not that bad. Okay, they're going to take some time to get up to us, I think. So we can probably move up a little bit. Affirmative, Commander. Okay. Sheev Lord... We'll move you up here for now. Dracon has spotted all of this, and we know we're relatively safe. The issue is he's far away now, so if the Seekers... Well, they can't see him, so they won't go for him. Uh, Ravenheart now can move into this spot. And now we just have to wait for fucking Seekers. Moving out. Okay, so maybe like two or three turns of Overwatch, we'll lose whatever meld though is left. This is not a good map for meld. You gotta wait until like there's a crash UFO. It's a lot better in that case. UED scanner. So it throws like a grenade. It's not like I can throw it very far. That would not give us much vision. So I'm going to wait till we inch forward a little bit more. Uh, okay, so... Oh, should have switched weapons, but that's fine. Let's just wait for the Seekers. Just wait for the Seekers. It's fine. Should have moved... I could have tried to move... Him up a little bit. There's the Mutons. And the Berserker as well. One Muton instantly killed by Overwatch shots. We, there are also Seekers that could cause us problems. The Berserker sort of like functions like a better... The now, there's the Seekers as well. Uh, sort of like functions like a better um, Chrysalid. Okay. Something's happening. There we go. So, what do we do? <laughs> this is a this seems like a pretty easy punch if you ask me. We got to get rid of this muton. So we could come here, flank him with a rapid fire. He's definitely dead. Um, we could start pecking away with our snipers. We also have this seeker. Dracon is far away. Can you actually see or hit anything? Heading to that location. 
Okay, take the shot on the Seeker at least. 69. Eh, this would be nice, but can't really count on it. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Snipers. 65, 65, 64. That's pretty bad. Unfortunately. Uh, butane is the one that's strangled. A shredder could also be prudent here. She Lord can shoot twice, so I think we take our two shots. Like one shot, it's a hundred percent to kill the seeker. So let's let's free up butane so he can take his shots. She Lord gets a second yeah. shot because of hail of bullets. So then we also take this. Okay, then we're going to punch him. That'll get him down to 1 HP. No, that'll kill him. That'll just outright kill him. Again, I'm thinking about the best way maybe to stun this Berserker. Who's left? Butane. 13% because he's right up your asshole. We could disabling shot here. UBD, do you have a better shot? Only 60. 64 here. See, we could punch... Again, I have two easy kills. I can kill both of these, no problem. I'm just considering how we can do this while also capturing, right? And that's going to require Ravenheart not taking his shots. You do 18 damage with your fists. Eighteen. He only has 14 health left. I should have just punched him in the first place. That would have worked. Miss with the laser. Okay. Damn it, missed the target. 60 and 64. Again, the punch is a free kill, straight up. The question is, who should we use it on to ensure that... Basically, I need to soften up the Berserker. So I think let's take shots at the Berserker and see if we can hit him. Miss. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to punch and then kill the other one with uh, Ravenheart, unfortunately. So we have a ninety percent here. Let's just get right up in his face. Moving to position. Right, and then we rapid fire him. What's the chance to stun him? One percent. So we're gonna rapid fire here. Uh oh. No crits. Well, we could stun him next turn, assuming that whoever gets hit by him survives. Which, I'm not... I'm not really thrilled about. We gotta come down here and punch. Boom! I don't know how much damage the Berserker does. We've got some respirators. Look at that. We rolled the dice. We rolled the dice and it worked. I should have, uh, opposite. I should have punched this one and used, um, this guy to flank the Muton. I actually felt the Muton was more dangerous, so. Come on, 80%. Nice, okay. That was worth taking a big hit. That was definitely worth taking one big hit. And then Dracon, come on over here and we'll heal up our buddy. That was weak. That did that did nine damage. That's a lot. This? Oh, it's gonna hurt. What will this even get us? I don't know. I don't know if it was really worth it or not. But in any case, we've killed two pods. There's another seeker too. 
There's still another Seeker, so let's, uh, overwatch. Reload here. Sheed Lord, you're, you're gonna be out for a while after this fight. That's why we have big men. I feel like every mission we bring Sheev Lord out on, he gets he gets hurt significantly. All right, Dracon. Is there anywhere? Is he invisible? There he is. Any high cover we can dash you to? Yeah. Here we go. This is this is what we're gonna need for the vision. Could this be the ship responsible for the attacks taking place during the alien abductions? I don't know, lady. Butane, squad sight him. We could go for the drones first. As soon as we take the shots here, it's gonna aggro these enemies, keep in mind. So what we wanna do is basically position ourselves with everybody in high okay. cover with overwatches so that when it moves towards us, we have chances to do some major damage. Also a shredder rocket in there would be excellent can't quite hit it. We could wait another turn. I would love to position ourselves for a big shredder rocket next turn, but we have to be close enough. And this very well might aggro them. Moving. Instead, I'm going to move here. We also have heat ammo, so that should be good. Let's... Let's take our shots... See, the cyber disc is not activated yet, so this is our chance to get some major damage on it. Because when it activates, it starts floating. Nice! And takes way less damage. Wait a bit, the more intact the ship, the more loot you get at the end of the mission? Yeah, for sure. See, this is what this is what mimetic skin gets us. Insanely helpful. Commander still doesn't have his shot up. See, these drones will heal it next turn. That won't work. It's in Overwatch, so I'm not going to move anybody. 0% critical. We can't kill it no matter what. But it's our only shot. So we'll definitely be able to kill it next turn. Assuming this hits. It missed. UED missing two fairly high shots. Let's uh, Overwatch... On our mech. Oh, I forgot about the Seeker. Alright, don't- You're wasting all your Overwatch shots! He was dead in the first one! Yeah, Mimetic Skin was worth the melt, if only for this specific instance. This is insanely helpful. Alright, they're gonna heal it. That's okay, we can probably kill all of them this turn. He may have moved far enough away that this other drone can't... Yeah, blue move to repair it. What?! FYI, you can also capture drones. Which is kind of neat. So it's still on Overwatch. We gotta try to kill it before we really move up. 95. The man himself takes some more damage. And then we should have a headshot up with UED that can finish it up. I assume those drones can't... I assume those drones cannot repair every single turn. So let's try this. Yes! Excellent. That might get UED a level also. We could try to capture one of these drones and then it'll be ours for the rest of the mission. That could be neat. Eighty percent. Let's just move a little closer. Go ahead. That other drone will likely retreat. Hostiles down. Alright, now we can be a little more aggressive because we know that that was the pod that was up there. This ship is huge, by the way. It's, it's very large. Oh, you know what? I can't capture the drones. You have to research it. Go ahead, Dracon. Finish it up. Should have just used the pistol. Damn it. Oh, 
I thought that was another seeker and was about to lose my shit. Okay, let's start confirmed. getting up here. How has that other meld not been popped? Where is it? I would love to capture this drone, if only because it can help me on this mission. The issue is you can't... Um, it doesn't matter because you can't... Um, can't do anything with it anyway. Why can I not... There we go. Dracon. Once again. Papa Bear. We look clear to move up. That drone is probably on the high ground or it went through the door. Uh, let's just run and gun just in case with an overwatch. Man, I maybe those berserkers have can't be critically hit or like the chance against. I didn't even look at the chance to critically hit. I assume the rapid fire would have killed it, but alas. Um, we got to move up here with our snipers. Sniper has been doing well for us. I'm glad I brought two. Yeah, these ships are enormous. We got a long way to go through this. There's probably maybe two or three other pods plus the outsider. Ready to fire. There's the drone. It's probably going to go and activate another pod. There's a sectopod. I can hear it. Ah, uh, that's Sheev Lord. No, no, no. Where's Dracon? Um, let's blue move here. Alright, we got a sectopod on our hands. Getting snipers up on the high ground here would be really nice. Again, butane boss gets full cover from half cover, so I think we move him right here, or over here rather. Ten four. I don't know if punching the sectopod's gonna work. <laughs> we'll try. Okay. Getting the high ground on it obviously would also be really good. Let's move sure classic right here. Might be able to use jump jets to get up and down here, but I'm not clear on that. Let's reload. Reload. Oh god. It's our first sectopod. Dracon. All half cover. Will do. Maybe it's on the other side. I don't think we're alone it's like we want to take the high ground, but there's no heavy cover up there. It's either in here or maybe it's further back. So it's kind of hard to decide what to do here. Yes, Commander. We can just scout everything with Dracon before we really do anything too abrupt. Yes, sir. Let's move our snipers up. All the way over here. Double time. I'm hesitant to move Shirklastic just right up there. Mmm, this is tough. So we're still looking for that drone, too. Yeah, UED is just too far away to use a, a scanner. Next turn, we might be able to use a scanner to good effect. I'm not going to go up that side just in case they're on the other side of this. If it's over there, then that's a problem. I don't expect, I don't expect it that it's just going to, like, hobble out of this door. It might. Roger, Dodger. But, you know. See, it looks like it's right there. It looks like it's over there. Which is probably good for me, really. This is good for Bitcoin. 
Location confirmed. I'm trying to get my snipers into some position where they can actually cover us after this. Time to motor. Heading there now. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll use Dracon right after this turn. To scout, but I don't want to pop the door until we're like 100% good and ready. I'll pop the door when I'm goddamn good and ready. Let's move over here so you're one tile closer. Position confirmed. Okay, so right-clicking into full co I have to test this now. Right-clicking into full cover when you're out of cover conceals him instantly. Okay, I needed to know that for sure before I tried it next turn. Mechtoid. Uh, I could just burst in. Could be the time. Or I wait for them. Give you a full turn so you can double shot. Alright, so, see, Dracon, if we open this door, they would get vision on us, I think. So we gotta play this kind of cool here. Move. Let's move our snipers over here, that way they can see the whole upper area. And let's see if maybe we can get a battle scanner over here. Incoming signal from battle scanner. Let's go, NBA! Kobe! Okay. Uh, again, I, th I feel like the sectopod's right there, but it's kind of hard to say. We could run and gun here. If we run and gun here, then we could rapid fire him. And that's two great shots. Then we move up with Sherclastic. Does Sherclastic have movement enough to punch him? Not quite. We could wait one more turn to see if it comes closer to us. Sheave Lord also would have to move up and take a shot with heat ammo, but that leaves the sectoids. We could grenade it. Unless somehow... No, no rockets. Wait a minute. If we jet boost... Moving to oh, it's so close! <laughs> you can't interrogate mechtoids. We're not capturing it. We're just going to murder those, those sectoids for sure. Oh, this is this is tough. This is a tough choice. Does Butane have a shot? Butane's got a 95 shot. We could also disable it. What I want to do is shoot it and then run in with our assault and then rapid fire it. Right, because if it just moves down this hallway, these guys are flanked. But if I move here, I'm concerned they'll scatter. But if I shoot them, they also might scatter. So this is like this is a surprisingly challenging decision to make here. What I can do is move up with Dracon at least into full cover. Next turn, I would have vision. Shoot to trigger it and just just see what it does. <laughs> just see. Um, I'm going to put... Uh, hmm. Sheave Lord down here hurts. That's tough. Let's overwatch everybody and take our last shot with the sniper. 
Then they'll scatter and we should have our turn. We might be able to catch him in a good overwatch here. So let's headshot and see how much damage we can do. 60% critical. Give it a shot. We can also disabling shot it and ensure that no matter what we do, it can't shoot back at us. 13 critical is great. Okay, they've scattered. The drone. It's so confused. Okay, Sectoid does its thing. One of them is on Overwatch. It's fleeing, it looks like. It's going back this way. We have no vision. I'm going to move Dracon up there, I think, to give me the vision. I think now it's time for Kool-Aid Man to burst in. Not too far. Enough to cover Dracon when we move him up there. This is the one that's doing its stupid thingamabobber. See, I want to grenade both of these, but if we open the door, there could be a sectopod in there, and I don't really want to risk it. Do our snipers have shots from over here? No, they do not. What we do have, though, I think, is a pistol shot from back here, and it's flanking the sectoid. No target available. Shit. That's too bad. That would have been excellent. No dice. Okay. Play it cool. Play it cool. Could do the same thing with Raven Lord. Move him up here. Definitely kill the sectoid. UED can't do anything, unfortunately. Dracon. That's half cover. He won't be cloaked. We could always smoke. Isn't there another sectoid on Overwatch somewhere? I think my best option... is to move my heavy into a spot that they can rock it next turn. Yeah, I know that there's a squad shot there, but I can't do anything with it. Ah! We can overwatch with our snipers. If the mechtoid comes this way, I think, I think Butane would have an overwatch shot on it at least. We could run and gun nowhere, really. This is half cover, and the mech toy just runs up and can shoot us in half cover there. So that's not a good choice, I don't think. I'm pretty confident now that there's no there's no sectopod there. So we're gonna, I'm going to grenade this. Okay, it loses its buff. We know there's another sectoid, so i got to stay on... Overwatch back here. Bruno! Overwatch. Ravenheart, I think I'm just gonna run and gun. Moving to firing position. Up here. I don't want this I don't want the Mechtoid to turn this corner, basically. So this is what it's gotta be. That actually worked out great. Now we can kill this. So the, the mechtoid cannot be buffed, period. I am concerned, though, that he's here without cover. Well, he's in half cover. It's not good. It's got to turn the corner if it wants to get to us. We can rush it down next time and punch it if we can figure out where it is. That was lucky. I think we covered our bases just well enough there that he was afraid to move. That's full cover, so let's... Can't see him. We have lightning reflexes. So if I can see him, Shirklastic likely can get to him and take the shot or the hit. He's right. No, he's not. Hmm. I don't want to be too gamey about it to know exactly where he is, but. Overwatch here. Maybe we just run in. Maybe we just run in with Shirklastic first. We know it doesn't have that much health. 
If we can get vision on it, our snipers can probably take him out. Where did that mechtoid go? <laughs> Where did it go? It must have gone through this door? What? <laughs> By the way, the outsider's over here. We gotta find this mechtoid and kill it, though. We can't just let it roam free. Confirmed on the move. Very strange. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay. Where did he go? Did he leave the ship? He's scared. I would be too. Rolling out. Let's get our snipers up. Butane doesn't have anything to do. Um, you know what? Just hunker here in case he reappears and takes a shot. He's outside! He left the ship. He's so scared. Did you hear something? Unbelievable. All right, Sheev is in position also where he could take a shot, so let's just get up here with Shirklastic. There he is. Dude, get roasted. Should have taken that with Sheev, because Sure Classic does not need the kills, but in any case, he's dead. We were getting pinged over here, though, so there might be another pod over there. Okay, next step is we're going to start getting people into position to go for the outsider. Stepping up. Double time. Okay, UED make the run. Already there. On the move. Um. Moving out. None of these are really good spots, but whatever. Yeah, Meld's been lost for a while, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this mission was not a good mission to pick up Meld, that's for certain. Look how much HP you've got, Shirk. Holy shit. Already there. We may need to shoot a rocket, so let's make sure we're in position for that. It would be a shame if we had to, but we may very well. Solid copy. Ready to engage. UED will put you over here, so we got a sniper's got like a crisscross aiming through the door. We got to try. We have to capture this alien. Keep in mind, we got to do it. I don't think he can just outright run up to the enemy, right? He has to... If he's spotted when he's running, I don't think he stays invisible. Alright. Do we just burst in, or maybe we, we scout with Dracon? Full cover here, full cover here. Roger that. We should make every attempt to capture one of those creatures using There's the There's two! Doesn't seem to be much left when we attack outright. He doesn't know we're here. Thirty-four is not great. We gotta soften him up. Grenades do five damage. Shredder? That's gonna blow up the flight computers though. I will prioritize that though if necessary. 55 and 55. Alright, let's take some pot shots here. We're in position to capture one instantly. So let's just, let's do our best to, to whittle them down. Okay, we're, we're breaking the ship. We're breaking it. That one's not even in cover anymore. You do too much damage. Y'all do too much damage. All right, look, realistically, we can kill one of these. So, Sheev, take a shot. Or, you know what? Yeah, just shredder them. It'll guarantee... Oh, don't miss and kill our buddy, though. Just kill one outright. How about that? Don't miss. I know. I know, lady. Our troops should focus on capturing one of them, not killing them. 
Uh, Raven Heart, we're gonna run and gun you. I know run and gun is a little superfluous, but we're gonna move you here, and then we'll take a pistol shot, and then we'll capture it, or try to capture it. Hopefully this works. 100%. <gasps> what the fuck you I didn't even know it could crit for six this particular species of alien using the I okay just for the sake of time I'm going to reload just for the sake of time I'm gonna reload that because I I thought laser pistols could crit for four I've never seen that excellent work commander please please this game. Sometimes. Okay, well we know that this works. <laughs> we should make every attempt to capture one of those creatures using the arc thrower. There doesn't seem to be much left when we attack outright. Our squad is too good, you're absolutely right. Okay. Shaclastic, why don't you just move up and punch this one? Your grenades are too strong. Everything we have is too strong. What about these? No, that's... Didn't we bring an alien grenade? Nobody has an alien grenade? Look, we got multiple tries at this, so why don't we just try to zap them? It's it's too low. Like, 34 is like nothing. We gotta, we gotta soften them up. So, 66 and 43. Just use the shredder. I don't need the money. I am concerned about killing my own guy, though. <laughs> it won't kill him, but even so. Low critical chance here. Big whiff. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Moving. Wait, I think... We can't even hit this one if we wanted to. Ravenheart could get to him. There. The other one can die. Ravenheart. Got it. What happens if you capture two outsiders? I assume nothing, so let's just kill him. 90%. Don't blow it. Excellent work. We'll begin analyzing this new artifact as soon as you return. <laughs> um, here you go, Dracon. Enjoy this kill. Oh, didn't see you there. Everything by the numbers. So silly. Now see, I understand the whole reload discussion, but in that case, it's strictly a time saver, because otherwise we'd have to wait for another UFO mission to show up, etc, etc. I didn't- I had no idea that a pistol could crit for six. Is that all that's left of the specimen we attempted to capture? Yes. I believe we may have found the source of the strange readings we picked up when we first encountered it. What is it, Doctor? We're not exactly sure. It's organic in nature, yet highly magnetized, and it appears to resonate very faintly within a specific electromagnetic spectrum. It is currently unclear how or... And perhaps... That's because this is outside your field of expertise, Doctor. Got her! If what you're saying is true, this object is an antenna. One that's receiving a signal. That signal? Can we trace it? No. At least not yet. We would first need to determine its encryption algorithm. My team can handle that. In that case, I will focus on constructing an interface between this object and our global communications array, which we'll need to trace the signal. Then it looks like researching this crystal should be our top priority. I had no idea a car could explode for 10 critical either. I know, it's garbage. Alright, Savior. Medikits restore four more health per use. Allows two reaction shots during Overwatch instead of only one. Uh, Dracon, with his movement and the fact that he's cloaked and can walk around and stuff, I think we take Savior because... Well, mm, Sentinel might be good because he's able to be so far ahead of the rest of the squad. He's so far out there that his overwatches will be that much more effective. I, 
outsider is actually a virus connecting it to our global communications array destroys all of mankind. It's Independence Day. Save your pops have a genius have a have a Jesus. Yeah, the thing with him is again, he's gonna be away from the squad a lot of the time. I would probably want this on Justice and have him be a sentinel. Yeah, and Dracon hasn't been around for much of this playthrough, so I kind of have to make the decisions for him. And I want two distinct supports, and this makes them quite different. Um, his aim is really good, and he's far enough up that when we do aggro enemies, he spots them. He's closer to them, so we aggro them with our snipers, and then he gets two reaction shots on them when they move. So I think, actually, this works with Mimetic Skin pretty well. The four more health per use obviously is extremely good, and I think it makes more sense on Justice. Alright, again, I want to, I want to differentiate the soldiers a little bit here. Excellent work, Commander. Capturing the alien subjects alive allows for a much wider range of experimentation versus the expired specimens. Alright, we got a light plasma rifle from the outsider, we got a berserker captive and an outsider shard. We're waiting on the skeleton suit, then we can do interrogations and then start our, our mission-related thing. Can we make the new building? No, not yet. Illyrium generator. We have enough Illyrium now. Before I build the Illyrium generator, because it's not really required, I am going to buy... At the very least, buy a particle cannon. Uh, heavy plasma is expensive. We can we can get that worked out. How much for that? I have difficulty understanding how such an advanced species could show so little empathy for the lives of other sentient beings. It goes against everything we have ever imagined. The technology is there, but with it comes a callousness we would never have expected. What could have brought them to this? 213, and it's... 28 Illyrium, so we're left with 30 Illyrium, which is just enough to make the Illyrium generator, I think. Let me double check that. No. Wait. Oh, no. It's cash. We need a lot of money if we want to make all this work. Um. Sell the trash. Yeah, sell the Outsider Shard. Do it. Uh, stasis. Alien surgeries are worthless. Alien stasis tanks are worthless. Sell them. Okay, that gives us some good cash. Let us go and at least build the Heavy Plasma. Okay. Now we don't have enough Illyrium. Where was I? I was looking at the wrong thing. I must have been looking at something else where I saw 30 Illyrium. So now we can't make the Illyrium generator. That's okay that we don't even have enough to do it. So my hope is we get some more UFOs that are a bit smaller in scale and we can get some meld. That way we can definitely fully upgrade our mech. Okay. That's done so we can interrogate our berserker. We got a skeleton suit now. We might want to throw that on our uh, snipers. Oh, I was looking at the rifle. Got it. Armor technology. Cool. That's good because we got some more. We got some more rifle technology. We could go for plasma sniper, but I don't even think we could afford it. Let's go ahead and do the berserker autopsy also because he's dead now that we've interrogated him. The men are calling this beast the berserker, although it shares the same structure as the muton, for reasons yet unknown to us. 
The Berserker seems to be consumed by bloodlust with little regard for its own safety. Okay, combat stims available for manufacture. Neural damping available in the gene lab. This powerful stimulant cocktail derived from a chemical found in the glands of the mutant berserker. Temporary boost to several of our soldiers' vital statistics. That actually sounds pretty good to have. If the soldier is mind controlled, the control is canceled and the soldier is stunned for one turn instead. That sounds good for Dracon. Super Soldier Dracon. Let's just go ahead and do the Outsider Shard right away. Okay, we have an ex we have a exalt operation. Jayco, you're up. The base is not a country within any territory in the Arctic Circle, so it's not Russia, right? Russia or Canada, but we already knew it wasn't Canada. That doesn't really help. Let's just go ahead and send out a covert operative. Wait, hang on. Before we get sent out, I remember you wanted to be renamed. Damsel. <laughs> that is fitting. All right. Great. Any medals? No medals. Still no medals. Those come few and far between. So, Outsider Shard's on its way. Illyrium for Titan armor and Titan for ghost armor. The issue is I don't have enough sh I don't have a I don't have nearly enough resources to build all this stuff even if I were to research it. Berserker just shatters glass and kills everyone. Yeah. Anything at the foundry? No. Yeah, now I regret selling all that Illyrium, but again, we've been really short on alien on UFO missions. Like really short. So um that's why this kind of killer. What am I doing? We're doing the covert ops, right? Soon enough we'll be taking out Exalt from the fight completely. They won't they are not long for this world. Probably like maybe two or three more covert operations. Okay. Looks good. XCOM operative deployed against Exalt position in South Africa. Yeah, we need meld. Uh, that that uh, mimetic skin, though, was 100% worth it. That was worth putting the mech 3 on hold. Uh, okay, so... Now we just scan. Of these coordinates. Recon satellite Delta 2 is just coming into line of sight now, sir. Coming on screen. Nothing. No, that's impossible. I know it's there. Switch to thermal. Hello. Give me subsurface. Gotcha. Reestablish comms with all the mills. Think of what we might find once we get inside that facility. Imagine what they might be doing down there. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Okay, we found it. Now how do we get inside? I thought you'd never ask. Oop! Oop! Build the skeleton key! Skeletons? Ah! No one told me there'd be a skeleton. <clears throat> All right. Plasma pistol is also tempting. I think we go plasma sniper. I want to have this in time for the alien base assault. Illyrium. It costs ten Illyrium, but we can't really do anything with it. This is also ten Illyrium. We don't. We can't really. Ah! Everything's Illyrium. 
No matter which of these that we finish, we're not going to be able to build them anyway. Five days, five days. Let's let's just research the sniper, plasma sniper for now. Get all of our soldiers outfitted with snipe with plasma weaponry. I've got a hunch as to how we might get into that facility. Just give the word, and I'll begin manufacturing the key immediately. You need to attack the base? You don't have to right away. I very well could wait. I don't even have enough Illyrium to do it. That's actually okay, because I'm hoping for another UFO mission. 